That's why I got goggles. That's cool as shit. Uh, they're so dark that I can block, I can literally like look at the sun and they will block out uh, all the harmful shit from the sun. I can stare at the sun and not get hurt by it. That's, that's fucking cool. I love these. Um, and they fit pretty nicely. They look cool as shit too. Uh, they didn't cost too much either. Um, oh, damn, I gotta hold this better. So I wanted to talk about some, ah, fuck off, some fallacies uh, on and about the left. Uh, for example, the slippery slope fallacy. Uh, the left always applies the slippery slope fallacy to the right, uh, like th with things like if you list, if you like uh, offensive humor or if you laugh at offensive humor. Uh, you will inevitably become a racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic Nazi. Uh, that's not true at all. Uh, however, the slippery slope fallacy is never actually a fallacy when you apply it to the left. Be and the reason I say that is because every single thing that was called a slippery slope uh, by the left has actually come to pass on the left. Uh, the whole pedophile agenda. <clears throat> uh, first it started with, oh, no one, uh, uh, we just want equality. We don't, uh, we just want equality. We don't want to force anyone to be gay. We don't want uh, to teach children to be gay. We don't want anything like that. No one's going to legalize, try to legalize pedophilia or anything like that. And now, uh, 20 years later, or maybe 10, 13 years later, uh, we have people actively pushing to legalize pedophilia. And they're all leftists. None of them are right-wing. And then, of course, there's the whole thing about uh, the slippery slope of, uh, well, if you censor offensive humor, uh, when are you going to start censoring all dissenting speech? And now Kamala Harris is actually pushing for a bill to censor uh, criticism of Congress. Uh, so the fallacy, the slippery slope fallacy, is not a fallacy when you apply it to the left. And I'm gonna fix this real quick. There we go. I look a little less shitty like that. I look shitty anyway. What am I saying? Uh, <clears throat> another thing. Uh, the left, the entire uh, policy right now, is just based on fallacy. It's based on false presuppositions, it's based on black or white fallacy, uh, it's based on non sequiturs and all sorts of shit. Uh, the reason I say that, <clears throat> of course if you're watching this video you probably can figure out uh, some shit, uh, but they assume these things that like offensive humor or video games just cause people to go off and be radical. That's not how that works. That's a false presupposition. There's no evidence of that at all. If anything, there's evidence to the contrary. And of course, the black and white fallacy. If you disagree with the left, uh, any part of the left, you are alt-right. No matter what your reasons for disagreeing with the left are. No matter what, uh, no matter what your actual stance is. You disagree with the left? Oh, you're a Nazi. Uh, so the left is just, you know, the left needs to die off. Either literally or metaphorically. I'd Honestly, I would rather have it be metaphorical, but at this point in time, it seems like it's going to have to be literal. Um, you know, uh, more rational people, more uh, rational leftists, have already moved to the right. They've already moved to the right. Sargon of Akkad. I watched as this man went from a left-winger who supported socialist policies to being a right-winger who supports full-blown capitalism. Well, not maybe not full-blown capitalism, but he's a lot more capitalist than he was. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if you... There you go. American Spirit. Always buy American when you can. <coughs> These things give you a nicotine rush. They last forever. 
So really, uh, this was just a bit of a ramble. Everyone who has a, a semi-functioning brain knows that the left is despicable in many ways. Um, another thing that just bothers me about the left, they always do this witch hunting shit. Like, you disagree with a leftist on Facebook or some shit, and uh, they look at your profile, they see memes, and they're like, oh, this is proof that you're alt-right. This is proof you're a Nazi. No, it's a fucking meme, you dumbass. Grow the fuck up. Get a sense of humor. Learn what the fuck humor is. You know, learn what satire is. Because, you know, uh, uh, another that's another thing. They don't know what satire is. Or parody. Uh, I was told... Uh, there was a, a meme that I saw on a leftist's page. Uh, and I commented on it. I was like, is this satire? Or is this a, a serious position that you hold? Do you honestly believe it? And what the meme was was basically saying uh, that c conservatives and white people are not under attack by anyone. Which is simply false. Like, if you have eyes... You know that's bullshit. Because you've seen people attack. And if you are a leftist, you are doing the attacking. So shut the fuck up. Okay? Um, <clears throat> white people are, are being attacked in the media and by politics. And, you know, it's, it's not a good thing. I'm not saying they're being attacked more than anyone else. I'm just saying that they are being attacked. Because they are white. Because they are conservative. Because they are not... A, a minority that is protected by the left. Oh, and let me tell you about Antifa. Because I've talked to some Antifa members on uh, Facebook, too. Antifa is so delusional. They, they actually believe their own lies. They actually believe that everyone they have labeled a Nazi is actually a Nazi. They are fucking psychotic. They need to be stopped. Someone needs to do something about Antifa. Especially because uh, they basically just took over Portland. Oregon. Thankfully, I'm on the other side of the country right now, so I don't have to worry about that. But, um, yeah. And, uh, the left is just so fucked right now. The right's pretty fucked too, but at least there's some good on the right. Uh, there are still libertarians and constitutionalists on the right wing. Yeah. That's about it. That's, that's really all I have to say. Peace.